She was the victim of a random attack on the subway back in August. Now, two months later, she's still too afraid to get back on the train. All right, Fox 5's Antoine Lewis spoke one-on-one -on -one with 22-year-old Vesley Vito, who is opening up about the ordeal she went through. For the first couple of weeks, I was mad because my face was, was all red. It was swollen. I, I had such a good day, and it just felt like everything just, everything just went left. That left for 22-year-old Vesley Beato happened on a Friday afternoon late August. Vesley and her 15-year-old cousin were on the Uptown One train pulling into the Lincoln Center station when she all of a sudden felt something on her face. And then right when we approached 66th Street, the doors open and I hear like this huge slap. And I didn't feel anything. I, I, I just heard it. I heard it on this ear. I heard it. And I was just like, what? What just happened? The male suspect took off. Vesley had no interaction with him or engagement prior to the attack. In a video that quickly went viral, she detailed the attack and the aftermath, including the treatment she received in the ER. I ended up going to the hospital and they glued it together. Um, they mentioned stitches at the beginning and I was like, nah, I can't have stitches. News of subway attacks that have happened since hers hit hard. In fact, she says she feels like a victim all over again. With the man on um, 149th Street, he got pushed into the tracks at 11.30 in the morning. So it's like it doesn't matter anymore if it's late at night or when it's dark. These things are happening in the daytime, and I, it's ridiculous. When I see these incidents, my heart breaks for them. Worse still, this native New Yorker from the Bronx who has taken public transit all her life has no desire to take the subway anytime soon, if ever again. Things can happen to anybody, and this experience really humbled me in the sense that just because you're from New York doesn't mean that things won't happen to you. From the Bronx, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.